is up there we go everybody solo app welcome to Maroon Talk the only segment dedicated for anything and everything you be fighting rules I'm Femoran Batch 2010 from UPS Banyos and we're here at Inares and Dipolo the far far away land of Inares and Dipolo to celebrate UP's sixth sixth win so now we're at 6-1 uh, standing solo first if I'm not mistaken final score was 76 to 51 in favor to UP fighting Maroons we beat UST and thankfully I would say this is already a convincing win something that we've been longing for the whole uh, first round yeah okay game so player of the game was Zave Lucero look at this plus 27 and the plus minus 5 steals 3 blocks 4 assists 5 rebounds Ano pang mahihihin natin kay save for this win? Parang ginawa niya lahat. Next up, na pitang mataas sa plus minus is Jerry Abadiano with plus 22. He made 9 points, 1 steal, 2 assists, 1 rebound. Yes. Then next up, sige tuloy tuloy natin plus minus kasi medyo matataas to. Plus 20. Harold Alarcon Harold represent Harold finished with 4 5 points 2 assists 7 rebounds For a forward For a guard Good job Harold uh, Quarter scoring First quarter he outscored UST 19-8 to Second quarter 19-16 to Third quarter 20-13 And fourth quarter 18 to 14. No, no fourth quarter, medyo dumikit ng konti. The lead went down by as much as 11 points. So, akala natin may iffy moment na naman. But then again, buto na kabawi. Um, it was... You can say it was a physical game. But, good thing na we were good enough to overcome yung binagawa ng UST. So overall, it was a good game for us because we finished as a team plus 25 for the plus minus. Pare. Nothing else you could ask for. Turnovers 17 for UP, 29 for UST. Uh, but kita kita how we dominated the game with this stat alone. Everyone got to play. Everyone got to play for this game and let us all welcome Ashon Andrews naman ngayon. Ashon Andrews, our rookie, finished with uh, 7 points. Ps, yeah, 7 points is plus 6 and plus minus. 1 steal. Yun. <laughs> and he was 3 or 4 from the free throws. So overall, a good outing for Ashwood. And finally, we got to see how he performs uh, sa court. And uh, I mean, yung athleticism naman niya, hindi naman talaga question eh. So it was all a matter of seeing it all, uh, all out in the court. No? So thankfully, finally, you got to see Ashwood, uh, Ashwood how Ashwood's talent uh, showcased on our Team. Yeah, I mean, we're happy for Ashwin. Nung pinasok siya, I think, sometime the second quarter. Uh, we all know this kid is something, so let's see more of him in the coming games. Hopefully, we get to see some, some more talent with him. I mean, for some more exposure, kahit pa paano, if, if we can, sa talent ni Ashwin. Uh, well, wala, wala naman ako ipapasabi. I mean, everyone who went in contributed everyone played hard Terence Fertea was the top scorer 14 points 3, three rebounds 3 assists 3 steals 3 of 5 from 3 pointers Ian Terence leading the way uh, in terms of scoring for the team while being court general uh, being our point guard 
since si Mai Mai rested as well again Carl played after that uh, tweaking his ankle uh, last game Jerry of course early on was our scorer our defensive stopper so he was very effective uh, early on 9 points yeah siya po yung mampala kanina Carl sakto minutes lang so you to rest 9 minutes for Carl but he also had 9 points Paka 9 points pa rin siya kahit na limited yung minutes niya so ganoon talaga effective si Carl sa atin may mga na-miss pa kasong shots na makeable but yun niya I mean 9 points is still 9 points so still good for Carl Harold Harold's been Harold Malik 11 minutes for her Malik uh, 4 points he was in foul trouble but overall okay pa rin si Malik uh, his effectiveness is still there so and yeah pinahinga na rin naman siya uh, for this game so hopefully no more injuries we got uh, more exposure as well from Antonio Sebio who is like in front of my car right now <laughs> shout out to you Anton and family ah yan di nakita yun uh, Anton Bismarck who else um RC Briggs Hen no not Henry yun yun yung mga sinabi ko had uh, decent outings right now uh, for this game because uh, yeah buti lang we had the lead most of the game kaya we had coach gold had some had some a little leeway to uh, experiment kahit pa paano and give the, be uh, the the other players on the bench some playing time for more exposure yeah for USD wala, wala na ko kailangan sabihin sa on the USD side Adama Fei Faye however you pronounce his name uh, is really something he's really dominant so hopefully the players around him get to be more effective as well kasi sayang yung talent niya or maybe it's a system I don't know but sayang sayang him and Cabanero are carrying this team on their backs and yung talent nila is kind of sad to see na hindi na giging effective in, when it comes to converting it to wins so hopefully I don't know hopefully UST <laughs> gathers themselves up and uh, how do you say this steps up I don't, know, I don't know how they're gonna do it but sayang sayang yung core nila but maybe yeah, they're, they're a young team so there's a lot more left uh, for UST yun lang, hindi natin patagalan to, patagalin to it's just a simple game I mean, like, like sinabi ko nung last episode uh, I'm expecting a dominant win a convincing win over UST for our last game of round 1 and that's what happened today so very nice to see how everyone stepped up, how everyone played wala pa si Mai Mai dyan Carl had limited minutes kasi nga hindi naman kailangang limitin Malik as well so hopefully yung mga injuries na na-experience sila yung mga iniinda nila the whole first round um, get better shout out to the strength and conditioning team if you guys remember si Jerry had uh, I think na-aggravate yung shoulder injury niya nung Ateneo game but kita na naman how he played last game against uh, UE I think it was, best, it was his best game so far in the seniors so credits to our SNC team getting this from this info from, manage, from management uh, na agapan nila kumbaga yung injury ni Jerry and, and he's back so parang wala nangyari no? so hopefully everyone else as well gumaling ni mga injuries um, I mean they play hard every day pero so hopefully wala nang madagdagan or may may lumala na injury so praying for the team as well you guys as well uh, our beloved fighting maroons uh, please pray for them for safety and of course for wins that one tayo yung pinapaharap no so mukhang ako yung tama nung after the first round i predicted na 
six one yung magiging record ng team but who who knew na we, we'd be losing to NU di ba uh, my final four prediction is still the same I would still say at UP Ateneo Lasal and NU for the final four um, we'll have a wrap up episode for the first round sometime tomorrow <laughs> ewan ko mag-usap yung ni Enzo to wrap up that that crazy first round and uh, hopefully yeah we get to tackle everything so yeah I mean so far at least yung mga prediction ko are coming true in a way so let's see what happens we don't know when the second round is gonna start but we got news na baka as soon as next week na so hopefully before the break nung gilas again I think so yeah hope to see you guys again sa games and uh let's see let's keep on supporting our team um mag time kasawa kasi grabe isa rin panoorin yung team natin yun the effort the, the effort of the coaching staff that whole organization right now is really something to be proud of kaya us in the UP community uh, they need us more than ever so yeah see you guys in the next game UP fight Alright, what's up yo? So, ha pahabol dito. Uh, let's uh, run down the notes ni Ate Che. Shout out to you Ate Che. And, um, also, shout out sa Cups. Uh, new branch along U-Belt coming up soon. So, ang baka niyan. Mga UE peeps, FEU peeps. Ano ba nandun pa? Aliano peeps. Ano yun yan? Okay, uh, first ano niya, si Carl. More of ginagawa niya is like a star player na kapag pinasok, may confidence ang team at sindak ang kalaban. So, alam naman natin yung um, tawag dun. Aura. Ang tawag dun? Shout out this. Uh, ano yun? Basta may yung ano niya, yung impact na dadalhin sa, 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 sa loob ng court. No? So, may factor talaga siya. X-factor vibe. First, Terence for Thea. Shot the lights out again. Hopefully, tuli tuli na yung ano niya, yung uh, con, yung pag pasok ng mga tres niya. I mean, he's a volume shooter, but it's not gonna matter if mababa yung percentage, no? So, dito natin how dead he has been, especially in this first round. Bricks taking on point guard duties and stabilizing the offensive plays. Yes, correct. Actually, na miss ko to kanina. Uh, Bricks actually stabilized it. It's been... It's how things have been working out sa atin. Terence is gonna start uh, the game. Then, kung medyo iffy na, Bricks is gonna come in to stabilize. Uh, then, and he's actually doing a good job in the point guard duties. Lalo kapag wala si Mai Mai. So again, good job Bricks from that one. Number four, Ashon's first game is a win and an and a wow. Nakita na natin. Busa yung bata, need na ng confidence pa on shooting, medyo alangan pa. But yeah, we saw, tulad nung sinabi ko kanina, uh, Ashon's talent, we got a glimpse of it in this game and so far we like what we're seeing. So, we're excited to see more of Ashon. No? And I'm sure his confidence is gonna build as the years go on, as the games go on. So do keep up, keep it up, Ashon. Number five, Cyril doing very very good defensively. I mean, we've done this, we've we've seen this um, time and time again. Cyril, totoong ayos sabi ng management sa kanya, handa sa mga pagpalita ng mukha. Kung kanino man, uh, and that's why I posted as well uh, an appreciation post for for Cyril Gonzalez no, for this for after the UE game. Number six, more playing time for Anton Bismarck. But, oh yeah, tama. We got to see uh, significant minutes with Anton Eusebio, Bismarck Lina, uh, RC as well, RC Kalimag. So, it was a good uh, showcase of their talent. Eventually, makukod din nila yung confidence sila as they were nung high school 
uh, ang maganda kasi dito, another factor with this one is since dumadami yung minuto nila yung tatlo, Bismarck, Anton, Bricks, uh, yun nga, RC. Napapahinga natin sila Carl, sila Terence, sila Malik. Keeping them away from injuries, no? So, if if these guys step up, I mean, talagang malalim na malalim na tayo. Yung kahit sino ipasok natin talaga would contribute. So, if they keep this up, sobrang ganda ng team natin na maano. Going down, especially in the second round. Kasi dyan magkakatalo. Number 7, Harold kahit short playing time plus ready siya. Yep, uh, discussed that as well earlier. Number 8, Zave doing Zave from season 84. Yes. So ano naman yung player of the game. And what's nice as well is Zave is uh, making his shots from the 3. So if we see this... Uh, it adds if if, if, if kung mag, kung ginagawa niya kung nakaka-shoot siya from the perimeter grabe it's a totally different dimension na ina-add ni game and ni save sa game niya kasi we, we know him how he can slash he can do his defensive uh, highlights pero pag sumushoot na yung tres ni save parang kumpleto na yung ano niya kumpleto na yung package with a save Lucero natin so, if he keeps this up, again, we're gonna be scary in, second, in the second round. Which leads us to the ninth point, deep bench ng UP, like bench, bench points natin, 42 points. So, final score was, nasa 70-ish. So, tinan nyo ito, for, halos kalahati nun, coming from bench points, no? Wait, let me review that. Yeah, final score was 76 to 51. So, yun nga. And uh, bench scoring, 34 pala. Natin naman eh. 34 ang bench points ng UP. UST had 14. Starter points, 42 for UP. UST, 37. Last point, Jerry showed during the first... Oh, nabagnit ko yung ganina. Si Jerry yung gumagawa sa atin, both on offense and defense, especially in the first half. Which gave, which pretty much set the tone of the game, and uh, yeah, we never looked back from there. I think I don't think USD even led even once. Another something that na napansin ko rin pala kanina, nung jump ball. Siyempre, it was Malik and uh, Faye, Faye. Nung jump ball, hindi tumalon si Faye. So, Matic, nakuha ni Malik yung bola. Matic, layup tayo for our first two points. So, 2-0 agad. So, I don't know what's up with that. Hindi ko alam anong instruction ni Val David dun or what. But, that was what happened. If you guys noticed that as well, comment down below. Yun yung napansin ko. As like, parang simula ka pa ng give up na sila. Parang ganun yung UST. So, I don't know kung ako lang napansin, but... Yeah, it's something I noticed early on. Uh, yeah. Ano ba mag-usapan namin? Yeah, mag-ingit na. Okay, that's it for this game. Again, no nothing else to uh, talk about. Overall, probably the most satisfying game since season 84, 82. Ever since the start of Maroon Talk. But, so yeah, on to the next round. Um... We heard na sa Wednesday na agad yung first game of second round. But let's see the schedule. Hopefully by tomorrow. So, yeah. See you guys there. Peace.